Hi everyone, in this video I'll be talking to you about how to build your model in SkySiv Beam. So to build your model, you typically add a beam, add your supports, add a section, and then apply your loads. Optionally, you can also add a hinge if that suits your needs. Now, going through this left menu, I'm going to add a beam. So I'll add a 5 meter beam. Now I'll start by adding a section. Now we accept two ways to add a section. You can use Skysiv's new section builder or you can directly input Young's modulus and moment of inertia. So I'm not going to get too in depth into the section builder just yet because it deserves its own video. So instead I'll just be adding in the values for the section I'm after directly. So I'll just add a typical value for steel and I'll add a value that I used for um, an I-beam I previously added. So you'll notice that it accepts scientific notation and the values have been updated here. And then I'll start by adding a support. So I'll add a fixed support at the leftmost edge here. And then I'll add another support. I'll add a pin support halfway at 2.5 meters. Then I'll proceed to add a point load. So I'll add a downward point load at 1.25 meters with a magnitude of 10 kilonewtons. Following that, I'm going to add a moment. So adding a moment, I'm going to choose a clockwise moment at 3.75 meters with a magnitude of 5. Now adding this one, it's been created here. Now moving on to the distributed loads, I'm going to create one that's starting at 2 meters, ending at 3 meters, with a magnitude of 5 and ending at 10. So you'll notice it ramps up, so this is a non-uniform distributive load here. Now I'm also going to add a hinge at 0 0.65 just to show this off. And you'll notice the hinge has been added here. So we have this table which allows you to edit the different um, things that you've added to your model so you can change the length of your beam here, you can change the, the magnitude and the position of the loads and you can even delete these different features by pressing the X button. So if I wanted to delete the hinge I'd press this X here. So thanks for sticking by for this video, I hope to catch you for the next one.